Next thing we have, of course, is the old magic money. We live in a capitalist society and everything's run by money and no one's going to be handing it out. There's no trees out there full of money. Oh my God, I would start my own franchise or my own business if I only had the money. That's a lame excuse. But you don't understand, Scott. Uh, I'm, I, I don't know rich people. I'm not a rich guy. I don't have access to banks. The banks won't talk to me. Oh, you know, woe is me. You know, America is the richest nation in the world many times over. Um, we have so many more millionaires and billionaires. We stacked them one after another. We could build a bridge to Europe. Um, and what do people with money do with it? Well, they do really three things. One, save some of it because they're smart that way, right? Number two is they spend some of it and have some fun, buy some nice stuff. And number three is they put it to work. And they put it to work in businesses that make them more money, increase their stake. Wealthy people in this country are looking for you, are looking for me. They're looking for an opportunity to give money to people that will make them more money. So how do you find them? Well, they create this thing called the Internet. You can go on the Internet. You can look for private equity groups, angel groups. Uh, banks. You can do what I did. I'll tell you a funny one that I did was Forbes magazine came out with a list of uh, some of the top you know, wealthiest people around. The next day I happened to see there was a website uh, where some guy was selling uh, selling the addresses to these people. Now I know the internet pretty well actually with my background so I know that people are going to ding, you know, there's no way that wealthy people are going to allow that to, to last for any length of time. I got the list and sure enough the website was down the next day. I followed up, though. Following up is a huge deal. I followed up, though, by reaching out to some of these people and saying, hey, look, I've got an idea. Maybe you'd be interested. And guess what? They were. It's The limitation is in yourself. Yeah. Is it more convenient for the rich guy to go to his other rich buddy and get some money? Sure. It's more convenient. It's easier for them. Does easy mean can't be done? No. It's not the same thing. Okay, just because something's easier doesn't mean that you can't do it. Okay, there's plenty of opportunities. If you've got a great idea, there's somebody out there that wants to fund it. It's your job to spend the time and the energy to write the letters, to write the emails, to pick the phone. Pick up the phone, not just hide behind the, the internet, but to pick up the phone and call these people and say, you know what, I've got a great idea and let me give it to you. Okay, there's plenty of money. Reach out and find it. French Fry Heaven found $2 million for really what has to be the most low-tech idea that come along in decades. Okay? And there were plenty of people lined up to invest in us. Okay? There's plenty of people lining up to put their money towards you too. But you've got to go out there and work it. Okay, and That brings us to the last and most consistent reason I've heard for wannabe entrepreneurs and wannabe franchisers to remain wannabes. My idea is the most genius thing that's ever been in history. The phrase leaves most wannabes in a catch-22. Either they get so caught up in perfecting their genius, they never actualize it. Or they won't start a business until they're sure that it's pure genius. No one has ever thought of it. Here's a newsflash. You're not a genius. Your idea is not novel, nor are you the first person to think of it. And that's just fine. Okay? It doesn't vaguely have to be. Okay? How many burger franchises are out there selling the exact same product? Okay? But it's a little bit of a brand twist. Okay? As I learned in Sunday school, and a lot of people did as well, well I learned in Saturday school, but as people learned in school, there's nothing new under the sun. Your idea does not require it to be earth-shatteringly genius. It requires action. French Ray Heaven takes a con took a concept that's as ubiquitous as just about anything else out there. I mean, there's French fries everywhere, okay? And we took a variation on it. We made it a standalone unit, and we made it gourmet fries, okay? So, what's your, what, so what do you do instead of the terrible stake of letting above, the above ideas freeze your tongue to so the, cold, the cold metal of inertia? Okay. Once you have an idea that's pretty good, set a time when you will move forward with it. Then go about the research. And we'll talk about that later. And a bunch of these other things as well we'll talk about later. Fundraising, product development, branding, all of this will be coming soon. But do all that with your deadline in mind. Your firm deadline. This is when we're starting. Then... When the date hits, hell or high water, move your ass forward and take a plunge. The beauty of America is the easiest, it's the easiest country in the world to succeed, to get rich and to fail, to fail miserably and to start over. Almost nothing you do outside of birth and an STD will last for life. Take a plunge off the cliffs of entrepreneurship. Your, your plunge will likely end in a huge splash or crashing onto the rocks. 
but rarely death or permanent damage. Rarely. Fear the fall? Good. Move forward anyway.